Leaping Leo. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. The constellation of Leo the Lion is riding high in the evening sky right now, and he has some interesting stars with some creative names. So, fasten your seatbelts for a ride through the sky with Leo the Lion. Okay, we have our skies set for about an hour after sunset facing southeast. High above the horizon, you'll see Leo casually reclining, just as the ancient Egyptians depicted him, in a regal sphinx-like position. His head and forequarters are formed by a backward question mark, with the bright blue-white star Regulus marking his heart. His rear is marked by a triangle of stars, with Leo's second brightest star, Denebola, marking his tail. The stars in the head of Leo also form an asterism called the sickle. All the stars are visible to the naked eye, even though they are quite far from us. The names of the stars, starting at the top of the backwards question mark and working our way down, are Epsilon Leonis, Rosalis, Adifera, Algeba, Eta Leonis, and of course, Regulus. As far as the triangular shape of stars marking the tail, you already know about Nebula. However, the other two stars are Zosma to the northwest of Nebula and Chertan to the south of Zosma. Within the official boundary of Leo, there are over 90 stars. Five of those stars are less than 33 light years from Earth. That's kind of close for astronomers. And at least 13 of those stars have planets circling around them. The brightest stars of Leo are an excellent example of Persian star naming. If you've watched our show over the years, you may have noticed that a lot of stars have Arabic names. That's because many of the stars were named by Persian astronomers thousands of years ago. The star patterns they saw way back then are similar to what we still call them today. And they often name the stars after the body part that the star represented within the constellation. For example, the prefix Deneb means tail and Ras means head. Several stars in the sky have either Deneb or Ras as part of their names. Rosalus, also known as Mu Leonis, is the star at the top of Leo's head. It's 133 light years from Earth, and its name is short for Al Ras Al Asad Al Shamali. When translated, it means the northern star of the lion's head. Wow, that's awful specific. And on the other end of the lion, Denebola is the blue white star, and it's 36 light years from Earth. Its name means the lion's tail. Regulus is a blue white main sequence star with a dimmer secondary companion. Both stars are a little over 77 light years from Earth and the name Regulus means Little King. Algeba is a binary star system 126 light years from Earth, and its name means the forehead. Adifera is a white giant star 260 light years from Earth, and its name means the braid, which is in reference to the lion's mane. In 2014, it was announced that Rosalus has a planetary companion more than twice the mass of Jupiter with a year 358 days long. The last two stars we'll talk about are near the tail of Leo. Their names are Zosma and Chertan. Zosma is a white star over twice the diameter of our sun. In ancient Greek, its name means girdle, and this star is 58 light years from Earth. Chertan is a large star that is more than two and a half times the mass of our sun, and its name means two small ribs. Chertan is 141 times brighter than the sun and is 165 light years away. Wow, if Churton were the sun, we'd be pretty toasty. Most definitely. So, get outside and check out the brightest stars of Leo the Lion. We have Rosalus, Adifera, Algeba, and Regulus making parts of his head. And Zosma, Churtan, and Denebola making his rear end and tail. He's easy to find when you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.